So I've only got one question to ask you. What is missing off of this page? The question is actually pretty easy. More Charizards. Let's do it. Hello. Welcome back to the Two Set of Hands YouTube channel. I am One Set of Hands, and we are on the hunt for some Charizard. So let's see what we got. I've got a handful of Darkness Ablaze packs. I've also got some Hidden Fates and, oddly enough, some Flash Fire. So let's see if we can figure out how to do this with a better angle than we typically do. I've been having some decent luck lately. That's why I feel like it would not be a, an absolutely terrible decision to crack some hidden fates at such a, an oddly specific time as right now, considering how difficult the set is to come by. Two whiteys in a row. And I honestly have had the best vibes I have had in months when it comes to Pokemon cards. So I thought today would be the day. Maybe we can actually get something that we're proud of today. Galarian Stunfisk, first official pull. And I'm using only red sleeves because I have to manifest something good today. Our channel deserves an insane pull. I just had, I am so content with the way that things are right now. And um, that's usually the best time to open up some Pokemon cards. Uh, I hope you guys are doing all right. No matter what happens, I appreciate all the support, especially recently on all of our videos. You guys make it worth everything. Scizor VMAX, let's go, dude. This is already better than like the past four videos I've recorded. Um, Hidden Fates has become astronomically more difficult to find as of late, but they did a, um, a reprint recently. So they've been re-releasing some of these boxes that they used to have at Walmart. So I found two boxes and some third-party products. So I decided I was just going to go ahead and pull the trigger on it all. And um, I waited just as long as I could for our, uh, our old pal Cade. And, you know, it, the cards just couldn't line up and he just, could, he just couldn't come. It's, a, it's an hour drive from where he lives. And I think that was just fate telling me to just go ahead and do this. Because Cade has almost completed Hidden Fates as it is. And um, everybody's out of town today. And it just, it, it felt right to do this. So here we are. And I am glad to be sharing such a wonderful experience of just doing what I enjoy doing. With a community of people who support me, honestly. I'm sorry, I'm done being sappy. As weird as it is, here it is, here it isn't, <laughs> that's like my favorite thing. Let me know what kind of camera angle you guys prefer, if you like this one or the overhead a little more. I'm doing my best. Apparently he ran with a legendary course this was long after my time being in the game quite literally and metaphorically I'm curious to know how many people in our community were around when flash fire was in rotation or when it was printed so if you don't mind let me know in the comments I'm super curious about that because I have no idea. And just for everybody who was wondering, um, yes, these are Darkness Ablaze packs from the Twin Pack. So the odds of me pulling something are just as low as they, as they are for me not to pull something. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. Blaziken, good to see ya. Not once in this video am I going to plug our 
socials or our events because I am not opening these cards to make any money. I'm just opening them because I want to. As far as I can tell, it seems that Darkness Ablaze is, uh, is, is running out because they have officially announced and there's proof that there is a rainbow version of the VMAX um, that is in Darkness Ablaze. So that means that there will be a more desired version of the card from this set. So this set will be going out of style. So I assume in the next couple days, how do I assume in the next couple of days, um, this may or may not be before or after this video is released, I will be doing like a, a farewell sort of thing. But since this isn't an actual exclusive Darkness Ablaze video, I'm not going to consider this to be my farewell. But it is coming soon, I can tell you that. It is coming soon. Because, you know, once there's something better than what you're opening, people aren't going to want to watch you open something old until it's back in style again. <laughs> kind of like, oddly enough, the, the, the game of Pokemon itself. <laughs> you know? When I was a kid, I can remember everybody just selling all their stuff at garage sales and stuff for $5. I, I know that... I had a bunch of figures and stuff from when I was a kid, and that's the only thing that I let go when I was a kid. Grim Snarl V Max. I believe this was the first card I pulled out of this set, but I can remember selling all of my little figures and stuff, and I've regretted it since the moment I did it. Luckily, I kept my cards, and yeah, as you saw in that initial video, that is a base set Charizard. I still have it. I, I pulled it when I was in, I think, second grade or something crazy like that. And I've literally had it this entire time. And I took pretty good care of it, too, if I do say so myself. so excited to get into this hidden face man because i am about oh double code card well that means that you guys are getting both there it is Oh, so I'm pretty certain that um, this will more than likely be the last time that I'm going to have Hidden Fates in this quantity, 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 quantity for quite some time, I am sure, because this set is so stinking hard to find. in the camera I'm trying to have like the most detailed angle that I could have so that means that I've got this stinking camera between my arms alrighty this is my last darkness of blaze pack of the video I didn't even give it a first pack magic over it earlier just because I was so um so gassed up about opening some hidden fates, man. Alright. Flash fire it is. These were also in like uh, some sort of third party product type thing. Oh my god, dust came off of that. Alright, I'll tell you what. We'll do one flash fire code card. You already know. There it is. So this should be three cards to the front. One thing that does aggravate me about um, flash fire and sets of this time is that.
that Evolution's reprinted some Charizards from these sets, man. And it's so frustrating. Ooh, that's a rare. Manzola. They reprinted the same chart. There's two Charizards from this set that were reprinted in Evolutions. And these are worth a lot of money. And the Evolution Zards are not worth money. And it just is so frustrating. But I've opened so much Flash Fire, and I've pulled so little cards that I literally didn't think that there were um, g any any sort of like full art pulls, like EX or what have you. I don't really know the best way to word what I'm trying to say. But I still to the day have never had a pull out of um, Flash Fire. I've only had like one pull. I don't even think I've had a pull out of Furious Fists. I know these packs are dusty as heck. Look at those paid cards, man. They really did give up. <laughs> I really should have kept these sealed because since they were third party products, they were almost certainly weighted. Let me make sure you guys can see the cards pretty well. Man, if I get one pull out of any of these, I, I would just be so hyped. Because I can say I finally had a pull out of Flash Fire. My goodness gracious, this is just... I'm telling you, like, you've got to buy a booster box for this to be able to get anything. Like, all these third-party products are such a joke. All of the Flash Fire I've ever opened came out of the mystery boxes that are seated with one vintage pack. Okay, that's like one of my first two hollow hits ever out of this set. <laughs> that's insane. I'm gassed up over freaking hollow hits. Last pack magic on the Zard pack. What you got for me, buddy? Can we get anything out of this? Of course not. That's so funny. Like, because I think that those, um, this third party product, I think that they are like something crazy, like seven or eight dollars a piece. Of course, we got to save the Charizard pack for last. So. Um, I haven't counted them. I'm pretty sure it's close to 20 or something like that. But you already know. It's battling time. Let's do this, man. <sighs> I know how southern I am. You ain't gotta make fun of me. I will give you one hidden fates code. And that is it. <laughs> and it will be this one. There it is. There it is. I need, I need to see something new. Alright, here we go. Card on the end is an electrode. And then we can go through and proceed with business as usual. So I opened, um, I opened two Hidden Fates packs. Just the Raichu on the back, and the other one had the Rainbow Birds. No Shiny Vault subset stuff, but still, I mean, that's something. Card on the end, Hollow Eevee. And if you guys didn't know, they had their error. I can't really tell on the camera, but um, a lot of the Hidden Fate reprint cards are error, error hollow blue cards. I noticed this quite recently. I can't tell if I'm looking at something or not in the back. I think this is it though. Alolan Ninetales. Man, let's go. That's a $20 card, close to it at least. I think it might be 18 But I, this, I think this is like officially 
My most common pull is Alolan Ninetales in that. Such a weird thing to pull so many of. Wow, what a sweet card. I adore shiny Alola Ninetales, man. Who doesn't, really? Uh, just having something to just like, you know, just remind one of them. All right, let's get to it. Better powder. I'm vibing today. All right, here we are. Just kidding. Here we are. Guzz Lord Shiny Buzz. Let's go. So, some of these were out of um, a Charizard box, some of these were out of a Gyarados box, and then all of the other were single third party. This isn't resealed. Like that is the worst seal job I've ever seen in my life. Wow, the code card is still in there, which means it probably isn't resealed, which is nuts. Why? Why was it so poorly packaged? You know it's bad when I'm accusing you of resealing. <laughs> got, this is it right here. So it actually was not resealed. That is nuts. You guys saw it. I mean, it looked like it had been cracked and, and the, it had been resealed. I'll take a shot every time I say resealed. <laughs> so no Charizards yet. But if there was going to be a set that had the Charizard, I would want that. may be the biggest one set of hands video I've done so far. Um, it's not exactly how I prefer to open up mine, but you know, better than not opening mine at all. Well, I saw some color. That doesn't necessarily always mean that it is something. I did see some color. Oh, buddy, that's two full arts. Let's go, Bonette. Hey, um, hey, editor, me from the past. You, uh, you want to put a clip in of of um of me when I pulled the bayonet from the original video? Hey guys, me from the future here. I've combed through as much video as I can stand to, and I simply have no idea what clip I'm talking about. We did pull two Umbreons and a Leafeon. There's a code card for your trouble, man. Oh. What a throwback. Feels like that was a thousand years ago. Talk. Hey, editor. Like it's not me sitting at this very computer that we're opening Pokemon cards with. <laughs> Alrighty. I am not even mad. I got something else, bro. I think, is there only, can there only be full arts? Like, I feel like this is a regular GX from the color. It can't be, though. What is happening, dude? Did they just reprint Alolan Ninetales over and over again? <laughs> what in the world? I don't even think I pulled one in the original video. Because I, I pulled one on another guy's um, live the other day. I pulled an Alolan Ninetales through him, granted. Vicariously, if you will. I don't. I don't even remember. 
maybe that's why they did it. Because I don't remember pulling one in the original. Or back uh, throughout the first print run of this. And in case you guys were wondering why I do that, is because the reverse slot is where the shiny is always going to be. So the last card deserves to have a chance at being the shiny at least. I am I am gonna struggle to say that there will ever be a set better than Hidden Fates. Like even though I'm burnt out and I've opened probably it's probably close to over a thousand packs. I um I still just I absolutely adore this set. Oh fish on the rod, dude. Every time I see the glimmer I think it's it. But no matter what, man, Hidden Fates is the reason that I have this channel. Um Cade talked me into getting some products and um I decided that I wanted to try and pull the Charizard on camera. So for everybody who didn't know, we opened 36 tins. Oh my goodness, dude, there's another freaking pull. Man, the individual packs is the way. I swear to you it is. I'm trying to know. Oh, it's on the end of this time. So the rare is not there. But anyways, let's see. That is weird. Um but I don't even we opened 36 tens which was 144 packs and that's why we got our YouTube channel oh okay it's Giovanni's Exile got it, got it. well I'm glad that I didn't rip that off the end for once because a full art is a full art no matter if it's two dollars or not uh, historically and correct me if I'm wrong but I am 95% sure that Giovanni's Exile is the cheapest full art car Pokemon card ever. I mean, in general, ever. I literally think it's the cheapest full art card in any set ever made. It is such a sexy card, too, though. It's so weird. I would love, even if we don't pull the Zard, I would just love to see, like, a shiny Charmander or something of the sort. Maybe a shiny Eevee. I've only seen two. Reverse cycle. I don't, I don't know if I can still say he is my number one. Definitely formally my favorite Pokemon, if he's not my favorite. All right, we got five packs. For some reason, there was a bunch of Mewtwo cards. Or a bunch of Mewtwo packs. This one's beating me up. Last Mew pack. I might say Mew is my favorite Pokemon now. So, let's see what we got in here. It kills me that they uh, evolved Farfetch'd, by the way. Can I just say that? And then on the end. Okay, you know, I'll take a couple of L. I pulled two Alolan Ninetales and a bayonet, and a fisherman. So even if I don't pull anything else, hit just Hidden Fates, of course, but it paid for itself. So I cannot be mad. I will say, if you guys are interested in code cards, I do not sell them online because I don't wanna, I j it just seems like so much trouble. But if you guys are interested in code cards and you need some, get after me. Yay, shiny. <laughs> Dancy, who cares? <laughs> um, but I do have tons of tons of code cards. They have not been used. And if they have, blast me online. <laughs> you know. Cause I do have a reputation to withhold, so I have no no need to take advantage of anyone uh, I, that's the last thing I want to do alrighty last three packs of the video 
I'll go ahead and start telling you guys thank you now. I appreciate you guys checking out the the Zard hunt. Maybe for once we won't come up short because for some reason Charizard just eludes me and I always have to buy them. Good lord. With some hollow poison down. I guess that's what you would call it. Down here on the bottom. I doubled up on Guzzlord and I doubled up on Ninetales. That's kind of strange. That Come to find out when they reprinted Hidden Fates again, those are the only... Um, shinies that they that they put in all this stuff <laughs> and the ones that I have are um, ones from the first print Let's see if we get, get a little snow Ooh, we got something buddy all right I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Cartana but I tell you what I'm gonna do this since we know for a fact I have something. Let's do through all these cards right quick just to make sure there are no errors. Just since I know for a fact that that is something. Charizard. Last pack of magic. It'd be so nice if we had two pulls, dude. Zard! Ole! Let's go, dude! <coughs> that is a freaking Charizard pull and a Charizard hunt. Let's go. Hollow energy and a bunch of poop. Always check your packs, man. Don't go throwing your bulk away. Because there's always a chance that you have an error. Because you've seen it several times on this channel. Alrighty. So here we are, the last card of the video. I tell you what, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'll show you guys. What do I have? Put it in the sleeve. Woo! Ether Foundation employee. Only the second time that I've pulled this card. But my goodness gracious, Hidden Fates was generous this time around. So out of all of that darkness and blaze we opened, those are our four pulls. Two full arts, neither of which are that banging. And then in opposite order of what they were pulled, this is what we got out of Hidden Fates. That is so busted, dude. <laughs> I have three Alolan Ninetales for no reason whatsoever. But yeah. I um I appreciate you guys hanging out with me so much. I I know that this probably is going to be the last time that we ever see hidden fates like this. But either way, like if it is, if this is the last time I'm able to get a hold of hidden fates, I'm genuinely so grateful to what the set did for me. I know that I say that about every set that I open. Seriously, without hidden fates, the two set of hands YouTube channel would not be what it is we would not we probably wouldn't exist in general at all so yeah i appreciate you guys watching um i'm one set of hands and uh i'll see you soon <laughs>